I'm Chloe Kingsford and this is The Nourish Life and today we are talking to Bindi all about stepping up on stage and her journey towards that massive goal. So Bindi, tell us a bit about yourself. Um, yeah, so I'm Bindi. I'm, as Chloe said, I'm 41. Um, I've got two kids, a three-year-old and a five-year-old and obviously life is very busy. Um, and I joined Strength City in February 2020 because I just felt like I, I wanted to try and get my body back, I guess, after having kids and I've always been into fitness and um, I just needed that extra little kick, I guess. Kick in the butt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. So I want to take you back before you started coaching. Where were you like physically and emotionally? Um, well, I guess having kids is a big shock to the system. Mm -hmm. So um, physically and emotionally. Uh, physically, okay, I was, I wasn't in my best shape, mm -hmm. I guess, you know, obviously after having kids. Um, and emotionally, I felt like there was something missing in my life. And I guess um, this probably sounds quite harsh, but when after you know having kids, you, I think you 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 lose the aspects of your life that bring you satisfaction sometimes. Yep. And sometimes yep. being a mother doesn't always bring you the rewards that maybe your job does or that your fitness does. Mm -hmm. Those sorts of things, because it is a really um, a difficult thing being a mum um, and so yeah emotionally I was just looking for something else I've always been one to um, get involved in adrenaline activity and you know bungee jumping or, yeah <laughs> absolutely <laughs> yeah. It, it, I guess my heart pumping I guess yeah um, you know triathlons and that sort of stuff so I just felt like that was missing um, and joining the gym was a great first step into yeah. getting that back yeah cool and I like totally agree with you there like it's a big shock to the system of becoming a mother and being both business owners mm. um, and having that, it's like we feel a bit guilty when, yes. you know, we're not, um, yeah, we're a bit taken back by the whole thing. It's like, okay, everything's on hold and yep. you're kind of forgotten. And yes. yeah, you're kind of missing that spark, I yes, guess. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You feel just dull and you're going through the paces and although mother motherhood is like Wonderful. the most epic journey, yeah. it's just, it kind of leaves you a little bit depleted. And yeah. it's like, okay, what can I do for me now that yeah. is going to really light me up and make me feel like myself again, yep. that kind of thing. Well, that's how I felt anyway. Yeah, <laughs> so, no, absolutely, hit the nail on the head. Yeah, so <laughs> what obstacles were you facing at the time? Like, uh, when you wind back and think of yourself back then before you started, yep. what obstacles were you facing? Um, I guess things, thinking about my nutrition, yep. um, I was one to always eat sweets, so I'd go down to the bakery and I'd get, you know, the hedgehog slice or the, the, the croissant <laughs> oh. or whatever. <laughs> um, you know, that, because I, you know, you, you're looking for that energy hit. Yeah. Um, so I would, I would turn to sugar for that. So that was a big obstacle to yep. try and get over that. Um, and I think also making a start, you know, the first step is always the hardest. Yep. But once you make that step and once you get into that routine um, and those habits, that's yep. when it, it changes. Momentum. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Momentum. And I have literally had the same conversation with a few women this week and um, I've asked them like, where were you at before you started? What what took you so long to start? And one of the girls said she was worried about being deprived, yeah. um, you know, getting everything taken away from her. Yeah. Um, and another girl said of the accountability. Because yeah. once she put her hand up and admitted, essentially, like, you know, what she felt as defeat, she was like, shit, shit's going to get real. Because yeah. I've actually said, okay, I need help. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, seeing that barrier to start is, is a real thing for women. Yeah. Um, and it can really prolong that that journey. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I think one of the other biggest obstacles is time. Yes. Um, you know, when you're a business owner and um, you've got two kids and you've got a, a husband as well and you've got to keep your house in order. The you've other got, kid. Yeah, the other child. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> um, and you know, that there's so much that you have to do as, apart from those things as well. Yeah. Um, and you know, I always think back if someone had told me that I would um, have this amount of time to commit to gym in a week. If they had told me that a year ago, I would have laughed in their face and told yep. them I was stupid. Yeah. And that would never happen. Yeah, it's like a fantasy. Yeah. Yeah. But once you, I, and I, I wouldn't have believed it again, is that once you make it a priority, again, everything changes. And it, it's just amazing. Yeah, it does. As soon as you say, okay, I'm actually putting myself, well, it might not necessarily be first because obviously you've got to put your yeah. children yeah. Um, high up the list too. <laughs> Um, but yeah, once you start making a priority, yeah. you can see that everything starts to conspire with you yeah. instead of against you kind yeah. of thing. Um, like I felt that, like when you just allow um, life to happen, 
that's when you just get lost in the chaos. Yes. And But when you go, okay, you know what? I want to make a change. I want to make a difference. And then you start. You can yes. start to see, oh, you know what? I'm, I've got more energy. I feel better about myself. Yeah. And then you just compile it from there. Correct. Yeah. 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 And so what was your biggest goals? In terms of the, with the gym? Yeah. Um, oh, I guess initially it was just to get that fitness back and to shed, just to shed a couple of kilos and to be able to look in the mirror and like what I saw. It wasn't so much the number on the scale. Yeah. It was to get rid of, you know, the, the bits that we, we collect as when we become mums. <laughs> like you know, we collect. <laughs> <laughs> what we do, we, you know, we need to be able to breastfeed and so we need the fat stores and that sort of stuff yeah. in our bodies. And, um, but I didn't need those anymore, so I was a pretty good. <laughs> yeah, there's no more babies. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so that was a really big goal for me. And just, again, to... I guess I had a goal to have a goal. You know, yeah. I, I wanted to have that thing that, like, that lit me up. Yeah. And that excited me every day. Yeah. Um, because, you know, that's what life's about. You know, we're here, we're here in this life to make an impact. And 100%. Yeah. It, it's a waste if you don't do it. Yeah. I just think. I just think, why not just get out there and Gotta do live it? it. Yeah. yeah. There, life's too short to be at war with ourselves every day. Yeah. Like, uh, there's, there's got to come a point in a woman's life where she goes, I'm, I'm fucking done. Yeah. I'm done being unhappy with myself. I'm unhappy with, like, how I feel in my clothes. Like, I'm unhappy with not having energy. I'm not yeah. happy with not being able to run around with my kids or not wanting to be intimate with my partner. Like, it, yeah. it has a flow-on effect. Like, I'm getting goosebumps just yeah, saying it because <laughs> one life, like, it's not... It, you shouldn't live it being up, upset with yourself every day, yeah, kind yeah. of thing. And the great thing is, is we all have the choice to change our lives. We, we are not stuck. We do, you know? absolutely. And although it might feel hard at times, um, there is always a different path that we can take, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, so, um, completely. On that, your biggest goal... I guess, yep. um, after you created a bit of momentum, yep. you were like, you know what? I want to step up on stage. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. <laughs> so and what made you want to do that? What made you want to step up on stage and take it to the next level? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, a pretty, it's pretty weird. Um, well, it, I guess it, it started a long time ago when I was, I think, about, about 28, and I'd come back from living in London, and um, I was training at a, at a gym in Brisbane, and my coach at the time said, um, you should do body sculpting, you know, you have really good muscle definition. And I was like, no way, those people are weird, you know. <laughs> the fact that they, they, they measure their food, they weigh their food and they track everything, no, that's not for me, and no way. <laughs> and, but it planted a seed somewhere mm -hmm. in there and it took a long time for that seed to grow. But I still remember the day, it was about two months after I had Elka, my second baby, and I went for a walk because my husband and I both said, we need to start getting fit again. Mm -hmm. And I went for a walk and I had these headphones in and I was playing, you know, my favourite tunes and stuff and I was so pumped and I had this image in my mind of me standing up on stage with muscles, looking great, smiling and feeling happy. And I went home to my husband and I said, you're going to think I'm really weird but I've got a really big goal that I want to do. Um, I want to do body sculpting. Yeah. And, and he went, go for it. Yeah. You'll be great. And like that's he, he's wonderful like that because he will always support me in whatever I say I yeah. want to do. That's crazy women just yeah. <laughs> having all these goals like Reese is like oh whatever. Yeah exactly. <laughs> um, and and yeah so I, I, I said I want to do it and um, I didn't know where to start and I just sort of thought that's a goal that I'm going to make in the next few years and I thought I'm approaching forty. You know, 40 is a great time to sort of do something crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I joined the gym and joined, obviously, Strength City. And I saw your photos when you had stepped up on stage. Mm. And there was a couple of other girls as well at the gym who have done it. And I thought, wow, that's, you know, the universe has an interesting way of connecting you to the right people. Mm -hmm. um, and... And I thought, this is it. This is where I'm going to do it. And it took a little while for me to talk to you about it. I and still then, remember the day where you're like, yeah. I think I want to compete. Yeah. I was like, yes! <laughs> yeah. And I said, can you help me do this? And you went, I sure can. Reese and I will help you do it. And I went, fabulous, let's do it. Yep. And I went home that day and I researched the competitions. Yep. And I rang um, the guy that um, heads up one of the um, federations and spoke to him about it. And I was like, I'm doing it. Yep. I'm doing it. There's no backing out. This is it. It was game on from there, yep. wasn't it? And I mean, let's um, delve into that journey because I mean, it's a bit of a different one um, because you had a goal of, the goal is to get lean, yeah. um, to step up on stage. And um, so we built you up, didn't yeah. we? <laughs> well, I was already, I guess, lean because I mean, I've always been fairly lean. Yeah. But, I but we had muscle. so much time yeah. too. So we went into like a building phase 
where we got up to like 3,300 calories. Yeah. So if anyone doesn't know calories, um, I don't delve into a lot of it with my clients, but if someone obviously has a specific goal, it's, it's a shitload of calories. Yeah. <laughs> it was like half a kilo of potatoes every day, plus more carbs, like plus oats for breakfast. Um, you know, I'd have potatoes and rice after my workouts. I'd have um, uh, potatoes and like sweet potato and pumpkin and all this sort of stuff with my salads at lunchtime. And, and then dinner time, I'd have more pumpkin <laughs> and sweet potato and vegetables and chicken and just carbs on carbs. Yeah, on carbs. and I remember sitting there just like, <laughs> and the start just going. What is this going to end? <laughs> <laughs> but it did. We yes. peaked, and then we started to slowly drop calories. Yeah. Um, and I think it's worth mentioning to um, to women that it's not all about the nutrition. Like, yes, nutrition is a big part of it. You had a pretty specific gym program that you were doing in the gym. Yes. We were working on your steps. We were making sure that you weren't stressed, um, that you were sleeping, sleeping a lot because all these things have an impact on progress. And hormones. Yep. It mm. all plays a part. And um, I think the biggest thing, especially on a journey to stepping up on stage, is the emotional support. So I remember yeah. a few times yeah. I would check in with you and I was like, how are you going? And you're like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is a crap day. Yeah. And the thing is like... Regardless of stepping up on stage or not, the thing is, we all gonna have we're all gonna have shit days. Yeah. You know, we can't win all the time, and we're gonna have things that happen that are out of our control. Um, and we just have to ask ourselves, all right, um, like it is what it is. How yeah. can how can I move forward? Yeah. You know, instead of staying in that state or staying in that place. Yeah. Um, which is okay for a little bit, but mm. then it's about okay, how am I gonna move forward with this? That's right. Um, was he? Yeah. And um, <laughs> and that's what we done. We talked our way through it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, we did. And I think that's the thing is is to be able to do that, have that sort of goal, you do need to have the, that right mindset. And, and I guess, you know, the years prior, having, you know, I've, I've had anxiety and I've had a bit of depression here and there, but you learn to get through it and you learn to find ways to, to work your way through it. And, yep. and you know that each day is going to be different. So you know that today's just a crappy day. Yep. And tomorrow is hopefully going to be and a better do. day. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yep. And you've got the opportunities to start that day afresh. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You have a choice. Yeah. Okay, how is this day going to go? Am I going yeah. to continue to feel shitty or am I going to um, take the bulls by the horn yeah. and smash it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So uh, we've talked about some of the things that we implemented during coaching. We talked about, yeah, the importance of sleep, the counting macros, um, even elements of like posing and things like yeah. that, sleep steps. Um, I wanted to delve into how did you feel when you stepped up on stage? Like you finally, actually before you do... <laughs> I just want to show this for the people that are actually watching. Bindi just gave me this this morning, and it is the, the most epic thing I've seen. Um, this is obviously Bindi um, stepping up like the, the photos of her on stage. Covers, the bum, yeah, the bum no butt day. cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Strategically placed banner. Um, but yeah, that is. You just look friggin' amazing, and yeah, it was, it but was you, a great day. you look happy and content yeah. within yourself as well. Yeah. So just tell the people. Um, like how you felt stepping up on stage, like obviously nervous, but like yeah. how did it feel? Oh, it was just incredible. It was so amazing because, oh, I'm going to get emotional now, but you work so hard for something and, and having, I had lots of friends turn up as well and um, my husband was there. I, the kids weren't there because they just, you know, they're hard, they're hard work. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I know my husband wouldn't have enjoyed it if he had to um, look after the kids and stuff, but, um, oh, it felt incredible. I was just, oh. I, <laughs> it's so hard to explain because it's like an out of body experience yeah, a little bit, isn't you it? You just feel like you're floating, like yeah. you're, like you just feel like you've got sparks flying out of your body. And that, <laughs> like, honestly, that's what I remember telling myself um, before I went up on stage because obviously the the judges are there to um, you've got to perform on mm -hmm. stage. You've got to be you know? on. Yeah, you've yep. got to be on. And I kept imagining myself like standing up so strong that. That I had fireworks coming out of my. I know that sounds like a big really stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I just thought you've got to get into that right mindset. Yeah, and I loved it. I really, really loved it. You've rocked on it, hey? Yes. Like, it was, like you've done, <laughs> you've done three, like three categories. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. and on that last one, you really hit your straps, and yeah. you were just like, "Fuck yes." Yes. Because <laughs> the first one, I went out there and I was like, I was all over the shop with my posing because I was so nervous and I was like, "Oh, well, well there's lights and there's this, people. And it's, yeah, it's hectic." And then the second one, it was so fast after the next one that I was so drained because I couldn't, I couldn't believe how sore your body was mm. from standing, tensing. tensing for eight minutes on stage. 
And then to go back up there, like five minutes later, I was so drained and I was like, oh God. And then we got out the snakes. Yeah, we got out the snakes. Give a hit. <laughs> and we smashed that last one. I, said, yeah. I remember saying to you, Chloe, I'm just gonna go out there and I'm gonna yeah. give it every, everything yeah, I've just got. Just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that's right. Just like, and I think I remember saying like, just have fun. Yeah. You know, just have fun with it. And you did, yeah. you were shaking your butt and you were, oh, <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. <laughs> Oh, it's really uh, fun. Yeah. No, it's um, it really is an out body experience, and yes, it is next level, but it is it's really empowering. Yeah. To to prove to yourself what you're capable of doing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And yes, yeah. it's bloody hard, but it's like it's you so prove rewarding. something to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Okay. So how does life look now? Uh, so I'm I'm still obviously in the gym, and um, my I I come three to four times a week. I've got a four day program per week, so. So there's some days where I miss that fourth day, but some weeks. We'll chat about um, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give, me a, give me a whipping after this. Um, but uh, my, my nutrition is a lot better than it was pre-competition, um, pre-going um, into this goal. Yep. I've learnt so much through you um, with the nutrition side of things. It's just it's formed, helped me form a lot more better habits. Yep. And... Um, I've realised the importance of carbohydrates mm -hmm. in my food. Yes. Um, so many women are like, cut the carbs. Yes. And now carbs are my best friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, um, yeah. Yes. In fact, here's my post-workout drink from Strength City. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and that's full of carbs. That's just amazing. Um, but I love the training because it's, it's my time. Yep. It's time for me. And it's, um, I think it makes me a better person. It makes me a better mum. 100%. But... You know, I've worked so hard to get to this point. I, I'm not just going to stop and, and lose it. I want to hold on to this muscle. Yep. And um, and I've, even you still lean. Yeah. Like, what's the difference in scales between stepping up on stage and you now? So I'm around 63 now, and I yep. was about I was between 60 and 61 when I stepped up on stage. That's, so yeah. I put on two kilos in what two months or two something. Two months. Yep. Um, That's incredible. Yeah. 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 And I, you know, I feel great. Um, I've got so much more energy with the kids, playing with the kids. Um, yeah, loving it. That's awesome. It's just, it, was, it was the best choice for me to do that. Yeah, yeah, um, and it's literally changed the trajectory of your life and yeah. how you interact every day. Yeah. yeah, and it's even like there's a lot of people around me. Like my husband's going to training now. He's getting into nutrition. He's, you know, he's going to do a, a big six month challenge next year, and which is fantastic for yep. him. Um, I've got friends around me who have who have changed their lives as well to try and. Um, you know, be healthier and, yep. and get into the gym and stuff. So that's just, you, you don't realise the impact that you can have the around you. Effect, yeah. yeah. Which is just great. And that's the thing, like, as a coach and, and, you know, seeing people come into the gym all the time, I can't want it more for someone else than they want it. Yeah, that's And it. that's a really hard concept for me to get. Like, yes. I know how good your life can be. Yeah. But all we can do is lead by example. Yes. You know, if we just keep showing up yeah. and, and doing what we do and showing people that we enjoy what we do yes. and how it is affecting our life, then people will start to take notice. That's And they'll absolutely. be like, I want, I want her energy. Yeah. You know, and... Um, and it's all about us continuing to show up for ourselves. Absolutely, and that was a really big thing that I learned from you too, Chloe. Is you exactly that? You know, you can you can tell someone to be healthier as much as you want, and tell them to lose some weight, or, or why don't you go to the gym, or do something like that. But it doesn't work. No, no, they've no. got to want it. No, yeah, but yeah, if you show them the way, yeah, um, or not, yeah, show them what you're doing, then that can have a positive yeah. effect on them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what would you say to someone who has similar goals to you or feel like they're a little bit stuck with, um, yeah, starting, creating momentum? Just to start. <laughs> you've yep. just got to, you've got to get out of bed. You've got to make that, you know, think about your day, structure your day properly. If you need to get up a couple of hours earlier, if you need to start work a little bit later so that you can fit in time to go to the gym or, or, or get a good walk in or something like that. It's about making it work. That's hey? it. It's about yep. prioritising it. Um, it's about making sure the people are around you are aware of your goal as well mm -hmm. so that they can support you because yep. I think without support it makes it very difficult for you makes to it do very anything. lonely yeah, yeah that's it right. does and um, you feel like you yeah you, you you're isolated in that yeah goal. yeah and especially for mums you know when you've got kids you need if you want time to go and do something for yourself you need someone to be available to look after the kids if they're not in daycare and if they're not in school yeah then that person needs to be there to support you to do that. Yeah. Um, so I think, yeah, support, prioritising, give yourself time, structure your day, um, come and talk to Chloe and Reese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think action.
action definitely creates momentum. You know, Mark Manson in his book, The Subtle Art of Giving a Fuck, yeah. um, he talks about how a lot of people wait for inspiration. I need yeah. to be inspired. I'll yeah. read a quote, I'll do some affirmations. Like, they wait to be inspired to therefore have motivation to yeah. therefore take action. Yeah. But he's like, what if we flip this shit? Mm. And what if we take action first yeah. and then we're inspired by that action yes. and that creates motivation? Yeah. Exactly. Why don't you make yourself your own inspiration? Yeah. yeah. Yes. You know, <laughs> use yourself as the inspiration and just go, you know, I, this is my body. This is me. Yep. This is my life. One this life. Is, yeah. One yep. life. I'm yep. going to make it amazing. Yep. 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks, Bindi. No worries. Um, Thanks, Chloe. See you next time. Bye. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome.